I'm enjoying the game. Obviously, Grasshopper Manufacturer has the like something of a budget to make a game like this. Although my suspicion is that it was actually all made in Unreal Engine 3. The plan was a mad and desperately complex one. Return to the day of the bombing. Reach the city as it falls under siege. Take over the inky aerial defense tower. Then strike the bombing squad so severely that they had no hope of dropping their deadly cargo. This would be a mighty feat for a well-organized army. Let alone a small group of three. There's the Greybeard seeking revenge, the Wavering Lady who'd rather stab a knife in his back, and an Avon. I would seriously question the sanity of the man who conceived such an operation, if that man were not myself. The Avon was the key. Only a Garai is capable of aiming with such accuracy and only a programmed bucket of bolts and a blackmailed skirt could be convinced to venture into that hell in the first place. I've sent them there to change the history of our entire world, all in the hope of saving one single man. So the plot is he's going back in time to save his son. I'm 600 units behind you. Keep in the gap constant until target is reached. Coordinates synchronized. Coordinates synchronized. I'm a southern lady. I get to talk with the southern accent. That's how you know I'm a southern lady. Chameleon Cannon Leonard. Of course, the Chameleon Cannon's name is Leonard. So he has an interesting firing pattern. He has a little bit of a curve, so that way you're not dead center when you shoot. Uh, you don't need to be dead center. And I still have no idea what the heck the Empire is, because all I've seen are animals. But we got this human statue over here. We saw some humans on the... the uh, that ship earlier. The Empire just made up humans, and the rest of the enslaved people are the anthropomorphic animals. Because, you know, alright, I guess. There it is, Star Wars Revenge of the Furries. This is literally... I don't know. Pick your pick. Coruscant, Cloud, Cloud City. Is that what it's called? vaguely deific sort of uh, architecture. Is that what that is? Yeah, deific architecture. Evoking the sense that they're like a holy empire. Because as every empire is, it's always holy, right? Ask any empire that thinks, any empire that exists, ask them if they're holy. They'll say yeah. Would, would definitely put money on that. Oh no, my fancy gun thing. Now I don't kill things in one shot. Okay. Oh. I lose five seconds every time I get hit. The big time loss. Go fast. Copy that, Garan. And. What the heck? It is steampunk, I told you. What? Why is this Zaku looking thing here? 
I thought they were the ones launching the attack. Why would it be here? Also, the Garai looks like a gorilla, just saying. What does that mean? That gorillas are robots. Super Siege Cyclops. Stereops. Stereops? Stereops? Stereops. It'll tell me later. Serious time. Wow, this this bullet pattern is really difficult. Uh, oh, that's. I'm gonna lose all my time. Yeah. yeah, my time has passed, indeed. He shoots so fast. Oh no, it's me that's shooting so fast. I have to shoot the the thing that does not deflect my own bullets. That's that's very difficult. Shot selection has never been more of a thing. Uh, is my time gonna pass again? How did I get an extent? Nope, my time has passed. Oh, okay. Now that I know his, he was reflecting my bullets, I can not be stupid. Now the thing opens and I can shoot it haphazardly without getting worried about No? Just kidding? Oh only when that only when it's really hard to shoot? Sure, why not? Why not? Oh my god. Ugh. Yeah. Spins in the, like a helix pattern. Alright, come on. Come on. Oh uh, no, I'm falling. Oh, and he's got like graffiti on him. He's got like Japanese armor on. Gotta notice these details. Some artist out there was really trying. God damn it. That's, you know what? He predicted what I was about to say. Got a, we got a Jonathan Josar over here. God. Damn it. Oh, how do I even... Ooh, that's tough. That's a tight squeeze. How do I... Oh, boy. Speaking of things that aren't really fair... Go listen for the choo-choo. Message addressed to Akita Driad. Distance to target is 350, and the diversion operation has so far been successful. At the top of the hill will trigger a full-scale Imperial military alert. I can only pray you'll succeed as well. Saved message. Pause. I don't really like we got we got a lot of different uh, architecture stuff going on. Looks obviously got got that neon Tokyo, right? And then, I don't know what to do with that clown shark is. And for some reason, we have a spinny, spin, spin, spirally thing that looks like, you know, the top of a meringue something. 
that's obviously Russian. So, but what country is this supposed to look like? I wonder. Got a nice looking park with no benches because they're a health conscious nation. We got this freak of a air balloon warship. What kind of... Okay, see they have that thing on the top that makes me look, make me think that's like a carnival ride, but why would it be armed with weapons? Or is it just shooting fireworks at me? Why are fireworks so, so dangerous? Actually, I take that back. That was stupid. Fireworks are obviously dangerous. Don't play with fireworks. That's why they banned them. And now no one can have them. Uh... At least I get two seconds for everything I blow up. I think I probably like his laser the most. The Zebaoth. Zebaoth. Driller. Why don't we just call it the Z Drill? It sounds cooler. And it continues between the, the transitioning of the boss phase, so that's pretty cool. a much better stage clear and defense focus like sub weapon so. and now they're spraying joker gas everywhere Okay, so yeah, that spinny thing is a... Those are guns. Why? Now he's gonna harness the power of the sun. Uh, that's not good. Uh, okay, sure. Uh, praise the sun. Are you gonna stop now? No. It was worth a shot. Hey, we beat it. And yet I only feel sadness. Such is such is the cost of war. All right, I think I'm gonna probably call it here. Um, as for gameplay, and just discuss some uh, Twitch slash channel stuff. All right, can I pause and exit? One Come man's on. virtue Listen to this is another, another man's sin. Inkies are monogamous, which is widely known as a primary cause of jealousy and sexual frustration. In the Empire, citizens of over 60 circles end their lives through ritual suicide. They do this with dignity in order to make space for the new generations bursting with strength. This is an act for which they are greatly admired. Other nations live together with their foul-smelling elderly who waddle about in need of constant care, who cling to their families like leeches until their natural end. The Empire seeks to free these people from themselves, abolish their pagan customs, and bring freedom of spirit and the power of democracy to these savage lands. But just as I say, feasts for one means famine for another. People of the Empire uphold their freedom through a complex rule system. They embrace freedom as a concept and a name. But true individual freedom would be considered a slap in the face of community. If I can keep two irons and one fire, I may be able to succeed. While Mirian and the Garai are trying to save my son in the past, I've been preparing for my revenge in the future. 
the last living member of the Cobalt King crew, Zack Gully, the co-pilot. You were so keen to carry out your orders that you saw fit to put a bullet in my son's head. Today, you'll get what you deserve. Yeah, so just notice right here it says orders instead of orders. I know English is tough. Um, anyway, I'm going to pause and exit.